What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video with the Fujifilm GFX100S. Still in Bristol, uh, shot the uh, POV street photography video earlier on. Uh, my plan is now to shoot some low light images. So the time is currently 10 past four. Uh, we're about an hour or so away from sunset and I'm gonna spend a couple of hours walking around Bristol with the GFX100S and testing out its low light capability. Joining me on this video uh, is another local Bristol photographer and now YouTuber. It is the legend himself, Mr. Sam East. Sam, say hello. Hello, hello, hello. How are How's we doing? It going? Yeah, not bad, not bad. I'm excited for today. Yeah, Sam's very new to YouTube. Like, I've been on it for a few years now. Sam's very new to it, but you should check out his work because it's sickening how good he is um, as a photographer and a filmmaker. So definitely, I'll put this link to his channel up on the screen. Go check him out. But yeah, right now, let's go and shoot some images in the low light with the GFX 100S. So we've just spent about an hour walking around Bristol and I've got a couple of images. But Sam's got to head home now, um, so I'm going to say goodbye to him in a second. Uh, but big thanks to him for filming the B-roll sequence you would have seen in the beginning of this video. Once again, go check out his uh, YouTube and his Instagram. He produces some sick content. Highly recommend it. But yeah, when Sam goes, I'm going to head back into the city once the light's dipped and um, to whack on the 110mm f2 and try and get some uh, more handheld low light photos with the uh, Fujifilm GFX 100S. But before I do that, let's say goodbye to Sam. Thank you very much for having me today, Craig. It has been, to be fair, it's been nice to get out and just do something different. Like um, everyone's been stuck inside recently. So, and also I haven't been into Bristol in time. So this has been really nice for me and it's kind of a type of photography I don't normally do. So thank you for inviting me. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And where can people find you? Where can people find me? You can find me on Instagram, at Baron East, or you can find me on YouTube, which I think it's just my name, Sam East. So good luck finding that. <laughs> but yeah, no, thank you for taking me today, Craig. And yeah, it was a good time. Sweet, all right. So Sam's off. I'm gonna whack on the 110mm F2. And uh, yeah, the light's just about to go into darkness. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can get. So it turns out I'm an idiot. After Sam left, I went back to the car to drop off my camera bag and somehow I managed to lose the screw mount for the GoPro. So my plan was to film some uh, POV uh, night street photography. Um, that didn't happen because there was no way for me to mount the GoPro. So what I'm going to do next is pop up a slideshow with all the images I managed to get um, after Sam had left. and. I'll probably do a bit of a voiceover and put all the settings and things on the screen. I just will note though that uh, in the last couple of videos I shared images straight from camera. In this one I have uh, slightly edited, although I've just edited the JPEG so there's still no raw uh, compatibility. So they're just slightly graded JPEGs, um, but it was quite interesting to see just how much I could push and pull those JPEG files straight out of camera. But yeah, enjoy this little slideshow of the night street photos that I got with the GFX 100S in Bristol next. All of these images were shot handheld with the GFX 100S using the GF 110mm f2 lens with IBIS enabled.
ISO was up around 6400 for the majority of the shots and as you'll see in the ISO test next week, it handles high ISO really quite well. The in-body image stabilization also seemed to work well and functioned even during these panning shots. There you have it. Let me know what you think of those shots in the comments below. Tell me your favorite one. For me, it was definitely the panning moped right at the end. I was literally on my way back to the car when that moped rode past and quickly flicked the camera on, span around, got that shot and uh, nailed it first time. So uh, yeah, those are some selection of night street photos that you can get with the GFX 100S. Again, I wouldn't suggest that you buy this camera for street photography. I had a few comments on the last video people moaning about um, that it's not a street photography camera. I get that. Uh, I just had it for a few days and decided that I would shoot the things that I enjoy shooting with it. Anyway, that's that. Next week I have got a more comprehensive um, review video of the GFX 100S. We're gonna sit down and have a look at it in a bit more detail. Uh, I've done things like ISO tests. Um, I'm gonna show off the uh, pixel shift mode a bunch of other stuff so if you are interested in the camera from a review point of view stay tuned uh, next week and that will drop but uh, thanks again for watching this video and thanks to Sam for turning up and filming that b-roll uh, the video didn't really go according to what we had planned but um, it was still fun to have you out and uh, create some content with you go check out his channel uh, it's epic all right and that's the end of this video then guys big thank you again to clifton cameras for letting me borrow the uh, gfx 100s for that weekend really appreciate it and cheers to all you lot for watching i'll uh, see you on the next one take it easy